my mom is a huge fan. So it was yeah. <laughs> kind of mandatory uh, viewing growing up. Um, I don't really remember having too much of like an opinion on it. I think I was just like, this is fun and I love the music and that was a good time. Anyway, mom, what are we eating for dinner? You know, <laughs> that type of thing. You star in the new Paramount Plus series, Grease Rise of the Pink Ladies, which premieres sure. on oh yeah, which premieres on April 6th. So what can fans expect from this uh Grease prequel? Um, I think I think the fans can expect a lot of nods to Greece, a beautiful love letter from uh, a team of people who are fans of the show. They can expect 30 original songs and one cover. They can expect romance. They can expect fun. They can expect laughing. Oh, it's it's a wild ride. Of course. And you star as Buddy in the series. What can you tell us about the character? Uh, Buddy is the the golden boy of Rydell High. He's the quarterback, the current class president. He's kind of the social king. Um, He has this big, beautiful heart, but uh, he has some lessons to learn along the way. So you kind of get to follow his journey as he makes the choices to possibly become a new, better person. Right. And for Greece Rise of the Pink, Pink Ladies, there's obviously going to be some differences with uh, Greece. It takes place four years before the story mm-hmm. of Greece. But um, what are some of the other differences that fans will see in this series? Um, I think the big difference that you'll see is, I mean, there's a little bit of a modern, more, more modern style. There's, I think, yeah. a spectrum of of tone that it lives on from like the Greece duopy to the modern style that we're kind of going with. And I think mm-hmm. everything in the show lives somewhere in between. I also think our show tackles a lot of the tougher subjects of the fifties and doesn't shy away from them. Mm-hmm. I think it does it in a, in a, in a graceful way where it doesn't feel like you're being hit over the head with it or anything, but you're, you're seeing what these characters and what these people were dealing with at in the fifties at that time. And, um, just day-to-day circumstances. And I think that's a really, I, I was always really proud reading the scripts of the way that they were tackling things and, and that they were tackling things and not just avoiding it. Absolutely. And you mentioned that there's going to be 30 new songs in this series. That's something I yeah. just looked up recently. Uh, so for Buddy, will we see him sing some of those original songs? Oh, you bet. You yeah. bet. Yeah. He has a duet and uh, yeah. one of his own songs later in the season. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. And you mentioned Buddy is, you could say, the top guy in high, in the high school. Um, but how would you describe yourself at that age? Oh, man. <laughs> I was I was a chameleon, I think. That's how yeah. I would describe myself. I, I, w- I played basketball. I did theater. Um, and I think I was, I tended to be a different person with, like, each friend group I was a part of, mm-hmm. I re- cause I remember going to college feeling like, Oh, I want to figure out who I am so that I can be that person. Cause I, it left me a little lonely at points, you know, yeah. I was very talkative with, with the theater and choir people. And I was very quiet with my basketball team. And I felt like nobody really knew who I was at that age. Um, so that self discovery yeah. journey was big for me in college. Of course. And you know, obviously Greece is such a classic film and with the series and there's um, talks of a prequel movie as well. The franchise is obviously getting bigger, but do you remember the first time watching Greece and what was your reaction when you first watched it? I do. I do. Actually, my mom is a huge fan. So it was kind of mandatory uh, viewing growing up. Um, I don't really remember having too much of like an opinion on it. I think I was just like, this is fun. And I love the music and that was a good time. Anyway, mom, what are we eating for dinner? You know, <laughs> but, yeah. but I do remember it. And I was in high school. I was in a little production of it. My, my mm-hmm. sister like directed and choreographed a lot of stuff growing up. And I was in a class that we did and I was technically Danny in this little class, but yeah. I forgot my leather jacket. So yeah. I had to wear my sister's leather jacket. <laughs> it was tiny on me. <laughs> my dad has videos somewhere. Oh, wow. That, that has to be something else. Huh? But yeah, <laughs> but um, when it comes to, when it comes to the series, is it mm-hmm. possible that we could see maybe some cameo appearances 
from the original movie if you could say anything without giving anything away yeah uh, i think i can say that there is not any of the cameos from from the people of the original movie but i think yeah. the main thing is is the spirit of the movie is right is imbued in every scene of of our show um and we're really hoping to to get some to work some out for later for hopefully future seasons and stuff like that absolutely and you mentioned that you were in uh kind of a grease uh, play when you were younger but recently you recently um appeared in the musical adaptation of the outsiders um yeah. another classic movie i love that movie but how was it working on uh that ad- adaptation of just a classic film like the outsiders yeah i think working on these two projects has, has given me a lot of respect for like um adaptations in general it's this beautiful thing that you get to do and there's this task of respecting the source material and giving nods to the source material while also um making it your own we got to talk to the author Essie Hinton and she came to opening night and and seemed to really enjoy herself and really enjoy our adaptation of it. But the first time we talked to her, her big lesson to us was don't, you know, there's iconic performances in this movie. There's Matt Dillon, there's Rob Lowe, there's don't, don't do their performance. Like this Mm -hmm. is your story. Now they, they had their take at it. I've had my crack at it. And now you guys are doing your version of this story and it doesn't have to be the same thing. And there's a few things that, we tweaked script wise just because it's a musical it's on the stage you do, there's certain things you can't do as well on a stage um and so you have to find a different way to do it and she was like yeah perfect like whatever form this takes i want i want you guys to take it and i thought that was so beautiful like that's how i want to i write stuff and that's how i want to be as an artist as well of knowing that like when you're writing it, when you're creating it, it is yours. But after that, you give it to the world and, and the world does with it as, as they please and the art affects them in the way that they're meant to be affected by it, I guess. Yeah. Of course. And now that Grease, Rise of the Pink Ladies is set to premiere. What's next for you? Do you have any upcoming projects you're working on that you can talk about? Yeah. Uh, what's up next for me is I'm making some music. Um, mm, okay. I've, I've released some music in the past and now I'm hopefully creating an album. And so we're, I'm moving up to LA with one of my best friends and we're, uh, I'm going to make some music up there. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that. And the last question for me, before I let you go is that as your career goes, what are some of the things that you would like to do that you haven't done yet? Would you like to star in more TV shows? You have possibly move into the world of movies. What do you like to do next? Yeah, Brian, I I, I want to do a lot of things. That's like yeah. a big part of my career is I want to I want to do some movies. I want to do some TV shows. I want to I want to hit Broadway at some point. And mm, yeah. it's also such a big is such a big thing for me. I think overall with that, because that's a lot of like broad, big goals. I just want to do stuff that I'm that I'm passionate about. I've been very blessed so far to get to do projects that are with some wonderful creatives and have this wonderful hand plucked cast and these beautiful stories that that mean something. And I just want to keep doing stuff that makes me feel inspired, to be honest. Absolutely. Nothing wrong with that at all. But Jason, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it. Again, congratulations on Greece Rise of the Pink Ladies and continued success to you. 